Vancha kalpa truvyas cha, kripa sinduvya eva cha, patitanam bhavanebhyo, vaishnavebhyo, namo namaha. And the Guru, Om Ajnana Timirandasya, Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshuran Militam Jaina, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. And to Goranga, Namo Maha Varanyaya, Krishna Prema Pradayate, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gorat Vijay Namaha. And Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Garadhara Sri Vas Adi Gauravakta Vrinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And Jai Srila Guru Maharaj's Pushpa Samadhi, Tempio del Puro Amore e Affetto, here in Vila Govinda. Ki Jai to Srila Gurudev, Srila Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj, and beside Gurudev, always Together, Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Rokha, Kridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, founder and charger of Sri Chaitanya Sarasakmat Ki and Jai, and our Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Vaga Ki Jai, and Jai Shishi Guru Gauranga Sunda Giri Raj Ju in London Temple. Yes, how do you say the name? Shishi Guru Gauranga Radha Giridhar Ju Ki Jai. Guru Gauranga Radha Gi Ah yes Radha Giri Raj. Okay. Yeah, Radha Giridari because we Giridari. have we have little Gunjamala Ram Giridari, so he's not alone. Yes. <laughs> okay. And many flowers there also. Here now many flowers too. The spring season has come. Yes. Okay. All right. Well. Devashish Prabhu is traveling. He's started ah mosquitoes. He started the traveling. And so he's traveling right now. So he's left us together. So what are we going to do together? Sorry, it's the, the spray. So what are we going to do together? Oh well, he's given us a topic. And the topic is always remain humble tolerant and respectful and you will get krishna bhakti uh -huh. so we better be humble tolerant and respectful haven't we <laughs> humble tolerant and respectful hare krishna well we can say that if we are, oh, okay, one or two more joining us. Krish, Krishna Mohini did he joining us in Spain. Dandavar Krishna Mohini did he. And Rupak joining his audio just now, I think. Connect. And Bhagavan Prabhu is with us. Hiding behind your name. Udaram Prabhu is with us. Seva Rupa David is with us. Leela Shakti did he with us. And as well to each of you. So we gave obeisances already. Rupak, happy to see you. Dharavat Maharaj. In sunny London, it appears to be. So the theme is humility, tolerance, and the giving honor to others. Then we must get then we will get Krishna Bhakti. That's very hopeful. And I can consider that. What David Shish Prabhu, maybe there's a quote, not sure if there's an exact quote like this, but by being humble, tolerant, and giving honor to others, then we are being allowed into better association. If we are arrogant to the world, if we're always fighting, then we're going to be kept in lower association. But if we can be humble and tolerant and give honor to others, then this will invite our acceptance within 
better association. And of course, really, this is the key to coming into the association of the devotees. So when we've come to the association of devotees, when Krishna has allowed us to meet them, then this is the key to associating with the devotees. But how to associate with the devotees? We must think, and some internal prayer is required. And both Guru Maharaj and Gurudev have given us this also, that when we wake up this idea inside, oh, I must come to the Lord. Lord, please help me. Please show me how to come to you. What is eternity? Where do you live? How to reach that? When this inquiry sincerely comes in the heart, which also implies humility, then we will be guided by the Lord when he, at his free will, of course, but he will be, we will be guided by the Lord to the association of devotees. And then in that association, our Krishna consciousness will take shape. And when we come to the devotees, then we must be humble, tolerant, give honor to others, and not want to honor for ourselves. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to associate properly with the devotees. We will be kept at a distance. We'll be kept maybe politely within the, within the field, but not close to the the Vyasasan, as it were. But those who are able to come close to, to Guru and Goranga, humility, tolerance, and giving honor to others, it, ah, is their very nature. Now you're going to see how tolerant I am with the mosquitoes, aren't you? <laughs> it rained a little bit, so that also woke them up. <laughs> And, and maybe gave them some food because they seem to be quite big. They're f flying around while I speak. But actually, Sarasati knows the downstairs office in Nabadeep. In the late 80s, our office in Nabadeep was in that Paschati Sevak Bhavan. Downstairs, when you look at the building on the left, and there would be swarms of mosquitoes in there sometimes swarms of mosquitoes but i had a pact with them that i wouldn't kill them but please don't bite me and they were mainly well behaved but not all out of so many mosquitoes you must have some naughty mosquito anyway we'll remember those days and we'll we'll happily tolerate the mosquitoes here Hare Krishna, but you will get devotional service. Mm. Take shelter of me and you will get the love, beauty, charm and ecstasy for which you are searching. Take shelter of me and you will get the love, beauty, charm, and ecstasy for which you are searching. But you must keep faith in my words or you will not get what you want. This is Guru Maharaj, uh, this is Gurudev, Srila Govinda Maharaj, paraphrasing a verse um, that Lord Krishna said to Uddhava in Srimad Bhagavatam. Oh. Please, please, mosquitoes, be good. Tasmatvam uddavotrijya chodanam pati chodanam. So this verse. Hare Krishna. But I am trying to find. And another, you will get everything. <laughs> Only when it comes to believing in God are we very, huh? Only when it comes to believing in God are we very unfortunate. Oh, 
because we're not believing in God. There's some background to this. Mm. Anyway, so we have a problem because, in other words, this is in a section, Srila uh, Govinda Maharaj is uh, talking. And so only, only when it comes to believing in God are we very unfortunate that we can't properly believe in him. And before this, he's been saying, we believe in the government, that the government will protect me, my mother and father will protect me, etc. But only when it comes to believing in God are we very unfortunate. So come to the faithful level and try from there. Srinvantu Vishwe Amrita Syaputra. You are all the sons of nectar. You must search for Sri Krishna, reality the beautiful, and you will get everything. I am still hoping to find you will get Krishna Bhakti somewhere because Devashish has found it, I think. Obina. Devashish maybe found this quote, but I can't find the answer. But you, and you will get is a good thing. This is also very good. And interestingly, we just had Ramananda Roy's appearance day, or disappearance day, excuse me, as you know. And here is another quote. This is from, also from Srila Gurudev, from Affectionate Guidance. The line of Gaudiya Vaishnavism is a very exclusive devotional mood. And you will get the whole conception in one place. And that is chapter 8 of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Leela, the Lord's conversation with Ramananda Roy. You will also find it in the Lord's conversation with Raghupati Upadhyaya. And specifically in the books, Sri Krishna Kanamritam and Sri Brahma Sankhita. And by the way, somehow or another, we've been reminding ourselves a lot of just how exclusive is Gaudiya Vaishnavism. And this here is that little quote, Gurudev, beginning with the line of Gaudiya Vaishnavism is a very exclusive devotional mood. Hare Krishna, Govinda, Govinda. <laughs> okay, more beautiful things. When Guru Maharaj is explaining the Gayatri, Gayatri means Gana Trayati Iti Gayatri, which means a type of song, which if you sing, you will get liberation. This is such a nice process. Simply by singing and dancing, you will get liberation. This is the Gayatri Mantra, and this is the original sound, the sound of Krishna's flute. Ganat Trayate. Nowhere else in the material world has anyone ever given such a nice explanation of the transcendental sound vibration coming from Krishna's flute. No religion can make this statement that simply chant and dance and you will get liberation. So this is Guru, Gurudev um, describing Srila Guru Maharaj explaining what is Gayatri. What is the form of the Gayatri mantra? This is Gurudev speaking. Guru Maharaj said, Muralishta Kirtana Dhanam. Mura, Murali, Murali. Murali means the fruit of Krishna. Krishna's fruit is for singing. Krishna's flute is for singing. 
It is not for blasting or making violence. It is for making the heart peaceful. And a very sweet sound has come from Krishna's flute. What does Krishna's flute sing? If you sing, you must have a purpose, a target, <clears throat> a meter, a regulated flow. And that target is the name of Radharani. No other sound comes from Krishna's flute. Only Radhe, 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 Radhe. And that sound comes in a variety of different ways. Hare Krishna. Well, we are perhaps slightly sidetracked there, but that's what happens when we do a search. But we're coming up with very wonderful things. Hare Krishna. Mahaprabhu said, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Kevala. Chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra without offense and you will get everything. All right, that's all the, and the, the results I've got for searching for and you will get. But Krishna Bhakti will come from the Krishna Bhakta. But to come to the Krishna Bhakta, then we do need some good fortune and humility, tolerance, and giving honor to others. This is about what we can consider. But maybe somebody can shed some light on this. Maybe Saraswati, having been posted as the host of today, maybe she did a little homework or even asked Devashish, where did you find this? Something, please, something from you, Saraswati. Hello, I haven't really done any homework, but I, I will try to, whatever I have, dream, I will remember. I mean, yes. um, Srila Gurudev, La Bhakti Sunda Govinda Deva Goswami Maharaj was himself the, the um, embodiment of these teachings. Srinada Pisa Michina, Tarora Visa Hizuna, Amanina Manarena, Kirtanaya Sadahari. So we are trying to follow in his footsteps, but the practice, the theory is very easy, but the practice is very hard. And sometimes we find many challenges where we should practice these teachings and it's not easy, but we have to keep trying and trying, right? This is a process where we're trying to practice and with the, um, you know, with the example of the Vaishnavas, the Vaishnavas who are trying to practice that and we will eventually, eventually be able to practice those teachings. Um, yeah. Um, Gurudev said tolerating with affection it's not just about tolerating right that's what I remember um, it's not just okay I'm going to tolerate but we have to tolerate with affection and humility I think sometimes it's very difficult when we have certain responsibility to apply humility sometimes you know it's a great area with humility where do we draw the line? <laughs> Isn't it, Maharaj? What do you think about that? <laughs> um, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'll let you continue and I'll keep thinking. <laughs> yeah. Um, and of course, we have to give honor to all the Vaishnavas and try to avoid to make any offense to anyone or engage in criticizing others. I think that that's very clear what Gurudev has has, has said to us all the time and repeatedly, we have to avoid Vaishnava uh, apparat because that's very bad for our spiritual life. That will destroy our our creeper of devotion, right? That's not the good food for our, our bhakti lata, our seed of devotion. 
So we have to avoid those things that are unfavorable. And uh, we have these wonderful books in the Tropana Jivanamrita, this one. <laughs> there is a chapter on humility and Guru Maharaj collected those beautiful slokas about humility, right? So it's very nice to, to read through, through them and beautiful nourishment. Um, and, and really, I think seeing Guru Dev, you know, his life, his practicing life is, was really amazing to see his um, dealings with others. And uh, it's just wonderful to, to remember and to, to try to follow in his footsteps. Um, yeah, I just wanted to ask Maharaj about a particular uh, question on humility and tolerance. Where do we draw the line with those things when we have a special, in our service life, sometimes we have some responsibility where it's very difficult to um, apply those teachings specifically. I think you've also given a very good reminder that how Gurudev told that we need to uh, be tolerant. Oh, this is about the tolerance of tolerant with affection, right? Sarasati? Yes. yes. Yeah, tolerant with affection, not hard hearted tolerance and just like gritting your teeth and uh, tolerating like that, but tolerate with affection. That's number one because. Tolerance isn't just a, a dry thing that we make ourselves uh, insensitive to everything, but we transfer, we transfer any feeling of intolerance with affection to whatever is taking place. So Gurudev was always trying to understand why something is happening. And ultimately, there's a reason why everything is happening. And so Gurudev would always try to understand when you know, strange things are going on. And basically, the devotees sometimes, like very much, I mean, including yours truly, thinking sometimes in some situations in Navadi that there should be some action taken against the devotee, you know, for some things that are taking place. But Gurudev, generally not, generally not. Where Gurudev would be intolerant of having the devotee would be where they are uh, being basically unchaste to Guru Maharaj and to him and going to NM's mass, you know, things like this. That Gurudev was very uh, heavy about. But otherwise, with affection, he's tolerating. And even with affection, he's ousting devotees from the temple. And one is Peter Vasprabhu who, I mean, a, a, a very interesting devotee, but very good-hearted devotee. And he had some bad habit and Gurudev tolerating a little bit, a little bit more. And then he basically had to leave the temple because to just bring a bad name to the temple with his bad habit that he's doing like this. And he is kicked out of the temple, if you like, but with affection. And Peter Vasprahu, he knew it and he would still come back to the temple and come back, but not to stay in the temple. He would come back and visit Gurudev and Gurudev was always happy to, to see him. So this was one thing about the tolerance, tolerance with affection and even this humility We never know where's the limit of humility because we find, I find, I mean, I know that all the time and continually we're finding new circumstances where we really have to reassess our, like, um, are we humble or not? And have to also try to bring ourselves to another, another grade of, there's a borderline between humility and tolerance, we're not sure, but you know, we've got to be humble and we've got to be tolerant in all sorts of circumstances. But humility, sometimes necessary to assert something. So it's not that assertion is not humility. 
I mean, Gurudev's ex example is that of um, Hanuman <laughs> destroying, destroying Lanka, right? I forget what Hanuman did. He did something pretty wild anyway, but we're in great humility in service to Ramachandra. He's, who is he humble to? He's humble to Ramachandra, not to the demon section. So, you'll have to explain where you think the gray area is, and then maybe I can give an answer to, it, to the gray area that you think <laughs> is the gray area. Otherwise, I'm trying to think, what's Sarasati thinking is the gray area? Well, I mean, it's, um, sometimes, you know, somebody may come to the temple and want to... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, we want to uh, like some. Let's say an example. Somebody came and said, "Oh, he's a disciple." I mean, he doesn't even. He's not even a disciple of our line. Oh, I came here to read Bhagavatam. Right? Mm -hmm. I came here to read Bhagavatam. Can I do that in the temple? I mean, I said, "No, I'm sorry, but uh, I mean." With due respect, but, you know, first of all, I ask, you know, where are you coming from? Who is your guru there? And, oh, I am a disciple of so-and-so. So why don't you read Bhagavatam in your temple? Maybe if you want to, maybe you can want to come and hear what we're reading here, right? And he was pushing and pushing on that point. Oh, no, I want to read the Bhagavatam here. So, you know. It's not like, okay. He's asking, so you just <laughs> say no. <laughs> exactly. So what I'm saying is, that, okay, uh, do we apply? Oh, you turned off your microphone. No, but this is, this is, hu this is humility in the, in the sense of what is our service? Our service is to uphold the standard given by Gurudev and Guru Maharaj and uh, the Nat Mandir in Nabadeep has written in iron, written in iron writing across the front of the Nat Mandir facing the deities, Jibhakti Siddhanta Saraswat Sadhan. Or Shri, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta, yeah, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswat Sadhan. And it is, it means that this is the place where we will hear the, the message of Srila Saraswati Thakur. This is the place where, we, where you come to hear, not where you come to give your idea. And so if somebody wants to come to the temple, then we can just affectionately explain to them that, you know, yes, come and engage in service and, and engage, come and participate in the programs in the morning and the evening and at noon, if you're having a program at noon. And whatever readings take place, come here to hear and if you want to uh, read and speak on any subject, the world is open to you. But here is the temple of Guru Maharaj and Gurudev. So with humility. But many people have their ideas, we can say. But we know what is Gurudev's idea and Guru Maharaj's idea. So we have to assert for their honor. It's, it is not... Oh, yes, anybody comes and do whatever they like. Otherwise, what are they going to do? Come inside, smoke some pot, get high, chant Hare Krishna, and think it's a spiritual world. Where, do you, where will you draw the line? So they can sit in the temple room and read to themselves, but not aloud. That's, don't object to that. We have a person, we have somebody here who cycled all the way from Monza, which is, you know, it's a reasonable cycle, right? It's about, I don't know, 12, 15 kilometers or something. And it's on the road. He cycled all the way here to, to tell me what I should have said. In, he attended the lecture, one of the lectures we gave in, the pro, in public lectures recently. He attended the lecture and he cycled all the way here to tell me what I should have said which, you know, we can hear what he thinks I should have said, but I thought it was interesting. He cycled all the way here to tell me what I should have said to the people, which would have made them uh, 
like interested in spiritual life instead of what I did say. But I was quite, I was gently amused. I mean, I was gently amused because the person is a little bit, I mean, obviously, you know, not exactly equal yin and yang. I mean, sometimes devotees, <laughs> the members of the public, sometimes they're devotees also, you know, they're not exactly uh, the yin and yang in harmony. So anyway, he came all the way and it was quite interesting. And he's come three times since then, by the way. And he's come three times and he said, this is my, oh, what did he say? My, my uh, Tirta Yatra. Now this is my Tirta Yatra to come to Vila Govinda and visit. <laughs> Even though he seemed to have some objection to what we said, he's found it as a kind of a place which is attractive. We can, and we can only say so much and then, then we can say, yes, you're in, you're, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And you're free to give talks wherever you like. I was invited to give a talk, so I give a talk like this. <laughs> Hare Krishna. But we're happy that someone listens. But when they come to the temple to use the temple, it will not be allowed. But humility, still it is humble. This question, this, you mentioned this in relation to humility. And also tolerance. We could say, oh, we need to tolerate everything. But actually, what is being, what is the test that's coming to us perhaps in cases like this is, are we going to just let anything happen in the temple of Gurudev and Guru Maharaj, Or are we going to assert, no, this is the temple of Guru Maharaj and Gurudev. So, they're also, our guardians are watching, Gurudev, Guru Maharaj, they see everything. They saw everything when they are present. That is sure. And they see everything when they're not present, just like they would know in Navadeep what we're doing. They would know in Navadeep what we're doing. I mean, Gurudev would know in Navadeep what we're doing when, we're in, when he's in Calcutta, etc. Because he talks to his friends, the ghosts. And he asks them. But they see now. And so when things like this happen, then we um, can see, okay, so now I need to stand up for the right thing for our gurus. And we will deal with everybody politely also. Let at least they will be our friend, as Gurudev said. I want to make everybody my friend. You may have different opinion, but this way at least, not enemy. Because enemy is always disturbing the mind, so we can't and practice our Krishna consciousness in a peaceful mind and many things. So Gurudev always harmonizing. And actually about this, humility, tolerance, giving honor to others, then Gurudev told that this, even for the material things, this is the only way to proceed. And he said that, and I know I've, I've tried everything else and I still have to come back to this humility, tolerance and giving honor to others. Finally, only this is successful. Even in material matter. So it is good advice for everybody for living in the world. But we do have a beautiful quote, but I think all of you have heard me speak this quote. And now, because it's a several days old that I've been mentioning it, I may not have it so easily at hand. Oh, yes. Oh, but this is about truth. What is truth? So this is Guru Maharaj, but this is about the humility and tolerance because it's about harmony. So what is truth? Whatever he, Krishna, des whatever he, Krishna, desires, whatever he wants, surrender to that. That is truth. The highest conception of truth is there in harmony. Truth is 
to dance in harmony with the most original plane according to its vibration and wave. That is truth. And if you've heard it before, which some of you certainly have, no harm in repetition. No harm at all. Maharaj, do you remember that uh, little um, pastime or, uh, with uh, one of Guru Maharaj's god brothers that he was very sick and didn't say anything and they were going in the train was that with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur? And out of humility, he didn't, he didn't say that he wasn't feeling uh, well. Uh, well, I, well, I know one example, but maybe not in, not in a train and not with, uh, not in a train. Anyhow, mm -hmm. I know one example, which is Guru Maharaj told when they were uh, doing a procession and uh, going to the new Ultadang, the new mat in Bag Bazaar from Ultadanga in Calcutta. And then one of Guru Maharaj's god brothers, uh, that night they'd been like working very hard, doing so many things and carrying also heavy things. And they came to the temple. And then that night, one of Guru Maharaj's god brothers, it's actually Professor Sanyal, if I'm not mistaken, he uh, was in much difficulty in the night, but he didn't want to wake Guru Maharaj or the others in the room. There may have been others in the room too, uh, but he didn't want to, to disturb anybody. And in the morning, then uh, he, uh, Guru Maharaj saw he wasn't doing well. He was like he was in, not doing, not in good shape. And he told to Guru Maharaj, yes, I really am not feeling well. And I felt in the night that I was going to leave my body, but I didn't want to disturb anyone. And then Guru Maharaj, in conversation with Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, who was there, they'd come to open that new temple. And uh, he mentioned this to Srila Saraswati Thakur, and Srila Saraswati Thakur was unhappy that this is not humility, that you are... Uh, not going to disturb another devotee when you when you may leave your life and leave your body. Your body is for service. So this way, this was an example, like of, of how there is a a line, but there's a um, there's a, a it's the attitude. Like what is humility and tolerance? When savor is going to be interrupted, then we must maybe disturb, you know, quote unquote, disturb others in the sense of assert and say, oh, really, I feel I'm going to die. Please help me with some, whatever it is, you know, water, medicine or something. So this was an example, yes, that this was not real humility. And then I think Guru Maharaj used that expression of yukta vairagya, that we will be practical about everything we do. We are not renouncing all communication and staying silent when it's necessary to say something. Because that, this body doesn't belong to us, it belongs to Guru there, isn't it? Right. So it's not our body to, uh, to make decisions for, in that sense. <laughs> and that happened very strongly with Sanatana Goswami in Jagannath Puri, when Sanatana Goswami like, was so, this is so sad that he got all these sores in his body, which then Mahaprabhu would forcefully embrace him and the blood and the pus would come and touch Mahaprabhu's body. And he's feeling, oh, this body is just a sinful body. Instead of coming to Mahaprabhu and getting nourishment, I'm coming to Mahaprabhu and making offense. And he wanted to leave his body and go under the wheel of the Jagannath cart. But Mahaprabhu knew his mind and said to him straight and clear, without Sanatan saying that that was his plan. But Mahaprabhu knew and said, Sanatan, why are you thinking like this? 
I have so many things to do through your body. And through you, I need to do these things. And you are now considering you are going to destroy what's my property. You get, you've given your body to me. Now it is my property. There in Chaitanya Charitamrita, very sweet description. And something along the same, similar lines in the case of that devotee, the disciple Srila Sanasati Thakur, feeling he was going to die. Oh, look at Chintamani with her horse. Well, not her horse, I know, she's looking after the horse. Almost Tilak also, kind of. Hare Krishna. Her name is Sindari, but I name I call her Sundari. Very good. Hare Krishna. Horses are meant for serving. They're born to serve. Bees are born to serve. Dogs are born to serve if it's a if it's a lucky dog, not a street dog. And we are born to serve. Actually, this is why we're born. We're born to serve the Lord and his devotees with humility, tolerance, giving honor to others and not wanting honor for ourselves. And actually, I had a little interest just to see what would happen if I searched for Trinad Api. Trinad. I wonder how many hits. Oh, not so many hits. Why not? Why not so many hits? I thought I was going to get hundreds of hits for Trinada Peace in each other, but no. Hare Krishna. And this is in Mahaprabhu's instruction. We always associate this humility, tolerance, and giving honor to others with Gurudev. But, but what is Gurudev doing? Highlighting this instruction of Mahaprabhu. And repeatedly we see Guru Maharaj highlighting that instruction of Mahaprabhu too. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Srila Prabhupada, actually all highlight this instruction of Mahaprabhu. Okay, I'm going to read you a little bit from Guru Maharaj here because it's just come up right in front of me. So here we are. With humility, so this is Guru Maharaj, Srila Sri Maharaj. With humility, you are to take the name of the Lord, that divine sound. But the process is that you must be mindful of his, sorry, you must be mindful of this necessity of, uh -huh, but the process of chanting, okay, is that you must be mindful of this necessity of humility. Otherwise, the search will be in vain and your attempt will be lost. Well, there's a strong statement. So, what will be the proper attitude? Trinad api sunichena. You are to think yourself to be the meanest of the mean and the humblest of the humble. Sincerely, you must feel that way. Taror api sahishnuna. Your forbearance must not have any limit. You must not feel, oh, so many days, so many ages I have passed in this search, but I have not reached there yet. I shall give up. Instead, be sure that you have come to search for the infinite. So there is no time limit and no room for any vanity that you shall think yourself to be master of that higher realm. For that is a disqualification and must be given up 
from the beginning. Hare Krishna, Amanina Manadena. Your highest enemy is your self seeking nature. To think that you have some standing, some greatness in you, that sort of vanity must be abandoned. Amanina, you must never seek any honor for yourself. No reward. Manadena. At the same time, you must be modest in your dealings with all others. Then your amanina will be genuine. So if you deal modestly with others, then your own self-seeking part, that will be genuine. Somehow I just can't stop reading just here, so I'm going to continue. If you do not like to give the honor to others, then your own self-seeking will be present and traceable. But when you can give honor to others without wanting any for yourself, you will be qualified to search for Govinda, for the center, the infinite, the absolute. You are a qualified student if you can give up all these bad and unfavorable prejudices. If you come to search after the Absolute, then you must have such qualifications. Otherwise, you will fail. So, we find that the great devotees always condemn themselves to the extreme, beyond what we can conceive even for ordinary persons. Okay, I better stop reading there because I'm going to read you the whole book. Hare Krishna. Where is it? Where is that from, Maharaj? Uh, it's Srila Guru Maharaj. It's from Sermons of the Guardian of Devotion, Volume 3, the chapter Humility in Service. It's very beautiful and perfect for tonight's um, topic. Very beautiful and, and clear. Very beautiful and clear. Hare Krishna. Maharaj? Oh, yes. Who is speaking? I'm, I'm uh, speaking. This is Bhakta Jim. Oh, Please Bhakta accept Jim. my humble obeisances. Wonderful. Hi. To you, Dr. Jim. Hare Krishna. Hare, Hare Krishna. I, in my dealings with my business, I'm an astrologer. I give readings and I interface with the Kundalini Yoga community and other aspiring spiritual personalities. And I get a lot of uh, this term self love that you must love yourself. <laughs> and I always have to stop a moment because in the bhakti tradition, we're trying to love Krishna. We're trying to love the spiritual master. We're trying to love the devotees, the Vaishnavas, not ourselves. So I do a translation in my mind and I change it to self-care because Krishna wouldn't want me to abuse my body because it's his. He's given it to me for self-realization and to go home back to Godhead. So I, but there's this very popular sentiment in the spiritual community outside of the Vaishnavas of self-love. And also another strong current that's everywhere is we don't need a guru. We can access everything all by ourselves. We don't want an intermediary. And I always ponder that because I think there's, perhaps they're coming from a history of being cheated, perhaps exploited, someone wasn't bona fide, and so they rejected it completely. Um, I just was curious about your thoughts on these things, if you have a moment on it. Well, I'm sure you've got thoughts also. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it can be difficult. Is, this, this, the yeah. point is we need to not just suddenly just dismiss everything that anybody will say to us. I mean, unless we're a very powerful person like Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada was aged and he was very 
uh, dearer, very uh, deep and sober. And he could say things that we can't say, like... Right, exactly. You know, simply fools and rascals. They're just demons, <laughs> things like this. If we, if we do that, we're not going to get a very good result because we don't have that adhika, that standing to do so. So we have to, uh, again, something like we earlier said, at least keep them as our friends so that we are able to have some dialogue. Dialogue means that it can, they've given their opinion, but we want to be able to keep them as our friends so we can give our opinion to the extent that they can digest it at any one time. So if you have people who you're repeatedly seeing, then hopefully you can give them some positive news, you know, step by step or week by week. Right. But it, it's some things, are, I mean, there are different ways to answer this, but the self-love thing just seems a little childish to me. I mean, sorry, everybody who loves themselves here, but it kind of seems a little childish. But we won't say that, you know, directly if somebody's standing in front of us and they're saying, oh, we have to love ourselves. But we can all say when, if we love the central source of love, if we can w wake up our love for the Lord, then we will love everything in this creation. And we are also mm -hmm. part of the creation. So, you know, we can keep it, keep them, uh, keep some of their thought, but putting the God-centered part. Because, I mean, the reality is, they may just come to hate themselves for all the wrong things they've done if they don't make any step in the right direction because Yamaraj and Yamaraj's team, they're all waiting. Yes. And then you may just come to hate yourself. Oh, why, was, why didn't I listen? Why did I keep eating meat? Why did I keep doing that? I heard right. something that I should use my life for another purpose, but no, I ignored it. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. One who knows the Lord knows everything. One who loves the Lord loves everything to do with him. Hare Krishna. Would anyone like to make a comment? And the mosquitoes were very good, mainly, they were quite good here. My mosquito friends. And there, the mosquitoes around Gurudev's Pushpa Samadhi. So, they took their birth here. Bhagavan Prabhu, you're very quiet. Would you like to say something? Bhagavan Maharaj, I've been hearing, Bhagavan told me about this. I've been hearing about how to become humble, to be, how do you say, tolerant and give honor to everyone without expecting honor for our own self. And, you know, I have too much to hear from you people. <laughs> because I, those quality matters is like, anytime I talk about it, it sometimes it, right after, you know, some taste will come to me. And, and I won't, I won't pass the test because I don't know how to become, how to be humble. You know, I can be humble when I hear from you people, but the way, you know, I'm, I'm a very aggressive and crazy man. <laughs> I have to be associated with the devotee to be, to be humble and tolerant and to give honor and respect to others because, you know, it's very difficult, man. It is, it's like the Armada says, that the, the asana of love, you have to have all those quality for love to come and take you. But anytime I try to practice, I mean, I have never practiced uh, to be tolerant. I have never practiced to be honored. What about to give respect to others? Uh, this is, this is, those quality is very, there's a very high quality to, to practice. It's too much for me. So when I hear from you people talking about those qualities, that made me happy because I said, by hearing from the devotees, I, those quality will slowly, slowly, I will, I, I will, you know, 
try to practice in a, in a sincere way. Those, those quality about, about it is, I, I, will, I think I will, I will spend all many lifetime to learn those quality matters. You please, you know, you pray for me. <laughs> to be to, to see whenever you be humble and then give honor to other. Yeah, this, this is a real, you know, when I hear about Silas Yermanas, when, when he's talking about to be humble, how he expressed the humble, the meaning of humble, I said I got not even the intention to, to, to practice this quality. Not even the small intention to practice. It's our ego is too much. Always we're expressing our false ego, and the false ego doesn't allow us. To, you know, you know when, when in my whole life, when I saw when I was in front of Sila Siamara, in front of Sila or in front of the devotees, that's the only way I feel humble. <laughs> when, when I'm in front of those great personalities, and then like a you know, you, you have to be humble. This is the humble comes to you and make you humble. By the way, there is no chance for me. <laughs> so when I I was hearing Saraswati talk about, talking about, you know, to practice how to be humble, <laughs> there, is, there is no way, not for me, not in my in this lifetime. You see, by the uh, association of the devotee. And by that way, I can in the future. So, Bhagavan, Bhagavan Prabhu, we, we've been hearing about humility and tolerance, all these things. We've been hearing from Gurudev and Guru Maharaj today from different uh, places. And now we are so happy to hear from a devotee the ex such expressions of humility and tolerance. So, now we've all got an example of that. So, Bhagavan Prabhu, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so dear devotees, we appreciate all of you being here. And uh, Devashish Prabhu, I think, will be back next week. He's a few days in Ireland just now with uh, Srila Bhakti Pava and Janada Maharaj. And uh, so I expect Devashish will be back with us next week. And I wonder whether our, oh, this is not the Sundari horse. This is a different horse. I wonder whether Sundari horse will be back with us next week. But anyhow, here we are. We're in the London temple and it's nice to be there. And I see you've got the, dec you have decorations up. No. Leaves. Are those leaves? Mango leaves. No, not mango leaves. There is no mango there, Maris. Some kind of um, looking like mangoes leaf, but it's not. Ah, but they are leaves, yeah. Yeah, okay. and, and the nice flowers made by Radharani Dasi, our Pujari, who's, she's sitting there. Okay, well done, Radharani Didi. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. All right, Jai, wonderful Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai, wonderful Srila Bhakti Rokok Srida Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai, our Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Vaga Ki Jai, Srila AC Bhakti Viranta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai, Jai Nama Charja Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai, and Jai Saparika Shishi Guru Gauranga Radha Girid Hari Juki Jai in the London map, and in Navadeep Jai Saparika. Shri Shri Guru Gauranga Gandhava Govinda Sundar Ju Ki Jai. Shri Nabadeep Dham Ki Jai. Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai. Shri Purushottam Dham Ki Jai. Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai. All our present day Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Acharya Brinda Ki Jai. All of the assembled Vaishnavas Ki Jai. Worldwide uh, Vaishnavas Ki Jai. Nitai Gaur Premanandi. Hari Hari. Jai Bhagavan Prabhu, Ki Jai, and all the same. Vancha Kaupa Trubia Cha, Kripa Sindubia Eva Cha, Patitanam Pavanabio, Vaishnavabio, Namo Namaha. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Udaran Prabhu, Devananda Prabhu, all Krishna Mohini, Bhakti Jim, Tungarasa, Chintamani. Leela Shakti Vijay Krishna. 
Lila Moy Bhagavan Prabhu Seva Rupa Devi Nasi and Rupak there in London died. Lavanya Moy Devi Nasi hopefully finished her cooking for the evening and headed by Saraswati Devi Nasi. And to each of you, our appreciation. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Dandavat. Stop.